You really think that's either of them running around in the forest? Did someone say something? Shit. Uh, uh no. Oh, okay. Guys, is anyone there? Where are you? <laughs> Could I just imagine that? Probably, yeah. Okay, good, cuz... Wait... <laughs> Is someone there? Shit, that's twice now. Uh... No, it's nobody. Are you sure? Pretty sure. But... If you're nobody, then you wouldn't be able to talk. Yeah, I guess not. So you're talking! So? So you can't be nobody! <laughs> oh yeah, I guess you're right. Was nice. Ugh. Really easy too. I mean, either I am way better at throwing my voice than I thought I was, or you need some serious earwax removed. I mean, seriously, how do you not hear me right behind you? It's not your fault, of course. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. I miss that show. You see the game last night? Go Detroit Wild, am I right? I, I didn't see the game last night. Your hair is really messy. Like, snarl city, if you know what I mean. It's fine, though. I'm sure the mortician will take care of it. Man, the one appropriate time to text LOL I'm dead and you can't do it. <laughs> you're funny. No, you're funny. No, You know, at this point, you should really just take the compliment. I mean, like, you shouldn't be acting this stiff until rigor mortis sets in. The manners on kids these days, it's ridiculous.
So I am right-handed. My name is Indigo Matoya. You killed my mother, gender equality. I'm woke, I get it. Thank you. 
I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What? My voice only exists inside your head. You can't drown it out with external noise. Are you saying that your voice only exists inside my head and therefore I can't drown it out with that external noise? Yes, that's almost exactly what I said. Oh. Well, maybe I can't hear you, but I'm not listening. What you said me? This is literally murder and it's on no level okay. Oh, I think you're overreacting a little bit. Overreacting? You are killing people. Yeah. Terrible people. Like, these are asshole delinquents. The kind you want to get killed in movies. And plus, most of them are on so many drugs they're probably going to die prematurely anyway. They're almost all kids. So? Kids suck. You ever watch Nick Jr.? My point is, humans are pieces of crap no matter what age they are. Look, I get you have a grudge against the world after- No, I don't. I have a grudge against the people who make it such a terrible place to be. Look, I walk around the city, I hear things, I see things, I know how it is out there. The other day some guy was bragging to his friends about how he raped a girl in the back of his car. You don't think he has this coming? The other night on the news, some rich girl was driving high off her ass and she hit some innocent old man just walking home on the side of the road to see his wife. He's dead now. But daddy's money helped her get off for just a few months of rehab. You don't think she deserves this happening to her. But people don't change, they'll do it again. Getting rid of them, that's not a bad thing. That's one less widow who's gonna live out the rest of her life alone. It's one less girl who's gonna have scars for the rest of her life because some guy thought it was a fucking object. Because of people like that. And you're telling me the world wouldn't be a better place without people like that, in it? I'm telling you it's not your call to make. Well, you're not my mom. Yeah, nobody is. That was mean. I ran out of impassioned dialogue in the last speech. Sorry. That's all right. I'm sorry too. Okay, cool. Anyway, I think you're worrying too much. It's common knowledge that as long as none of us ask what could go wrong, everything will turn out all right. Maybe it shouldn't. But that logic worries me more than almost anything you've said tonight. Oh, come on, lighten up a little bit. Lighten up? I am essentially serving as the conscience of a psychopath, and you want me to lighten up? Jeez, I'm only killing people. What could possibly go wrong? That, that's the thing I was just saying. Oh, I did. Oh, it's fine. Just, we'll edit it out. We'll just fix it in post. Cut it, cut it. So, oh, no. This is actually crap. Can you put that away for one second, fat ass? Yeah, Carl, we don't have time all day to watch hentai. I wasn't watching hentai. Wasn't watching. Seriously, guys, I wasn't watching hentai. Hey, Carl, shut up. Yeah, shut up, nerd. Why do I hang out with you guys? What? what? Nothing. Come on, I want to see what all the hype is about. Yeah. Katie, you don't think people have actually died out here, do you? Of course not, Jacob, that's stupid. Yeah, stupid. So stupid. Super stupid. Stu- Okay, I get it. You agree with me. Stupid. Wait, we're going to the haunted house? Yes. How did you not know this till now? I was looking at hentai- I was looking at porn- Does it matter? We shouldn't be here. Carl, you don't believe in ghost stories, do you? Yeah. Carl, you don't believe in ghost stories. Can you stop you saying essentially everything I'm saying? Yeah, stop saying essentially- Oh, wait. Sorry. They aren't just ghost stories. People have been coming up here and not coming back. Real people have disappeared. Oh, come on. It's not like they were important. They were probably stoners or whore. Besides, my daddy says it's all hoax. He's so smart. He is smart. And more importantly, he could buy and sell all 500 pounds of your fat ass, Carl. Look, the only reason you're here is because your dad works for mine but he won't for long if you keep running your mouth. So just shove another hot dog in it. Ha, a hot dog, cause he's fat and gay. <laughs> you know what, you guys go. I'm leaving. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. You chose to come here, now you're gonna follow through with it. Quit being a pussy. I'm not a pussy. Ha, pussy. I'm not a pussy. There could be a serial killer in there. That's something a pussy would say. I'm not a pussy. Then prove it. Explore this place with us. Show us you're not a pussy. Yeah, show us you're not a pussy. No way, Katie. I'm... Pussy.
You can stop saying that now. Let's see. Sorry. Both pussies. I'm not saying you're one bay pussy. I'm saying you both are pussies. I'm not. I am not. I am not a pussy, okay? You know, it's not a bad thing to be a pussy. I mean, a lot of people love pussies, both the cat kind and the vagina kind. I mean, one always lands at feet, and the other one can survive childbirth and careless high school boyfriends. That's pretty impressive. And if by pussy you mean you're scared, that's fine. It's okay to be scared. It means you're human and mature enough to admit it. I mean, so you're a bit of a fraidy cat. That's fine, own it. Because there's something more important than being scared or being brave. That's being you. <gasps> I made someone feel good today. Boo! Oh! Oh, I landed on a rock! Boo! Who are you? I'm the killer, you know? Spooky, mysterious one, scream, run away, all that jazz. You're the killer. Yeah. You look like you're two years old. No, I don't. I look like I'm at least five. You're so short, you could be a dwarf. We're the same height. Anyway, I feel like I'm more like a hobbit than a dwarf. You know, like a real Frodo Baggins type? You're a nerd, too. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> That was pretty hurtful, you know. No, no way! Jacob! Oh, this is awkward. Hi! Uh, do I have to chase her? I just ate. Fine. Well, it's probably something to do with the fact that this whole haunted house thing is really just a metaphor for the dangers of human curiosity. What? Ooh, it's spooky out here. Remind me why we're in here. The rest of the house smells, remember? And remind me why that is? Well, when I first got here, I couldn't quite find the toilet, and so I kind of had to look- Yeah, actually, I don't want to know. No, no, it's not what you think it is. Still don't want to know. Okay, but I warn you, it's not the kind of story you want to leave up to the imagination. Never mind that, we're starting to get flies in here. What's wrong with flies? You mean besides the fact that they're basically public transit for diseases? They're fine, I mean. Plus, there's not even that many... in here. One just flew into your mouth, didn't it? Okay, I know what you just did, and we're not going to talk about it anymore, but I just want you to know, it's not a win for you. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh! Oh, it's still alive. Oh, I can feel it going down my throat. Ah, uh, see? There is no way this can be sanitary, Tim. Fine, I'll get rid of them. Maybe, sometime. Likely in the distant future, probably not, though. So, you won't get rid of them. Can we talk about something else? Sure. How about the fact that you're still killing people? Can we talk about something else, else? No, Tim. This is just as terrible as the first time we talked about it. I told you I'm only killing really bad people. First of all, it doesn't matter. You're not the freaking crow. Second of all, how can you even tell the difference between good people and bad people? Do you give them a check yes or no survey? No, that would be ridiculous. I can tell just because I can. That is far more ridiculous. Think about it, Idol. No police have come up here yet. Not even a civilian search party. Clearly, nobody cares about the people I've killed so far. Argo, they're all there, but people. Or there are searches going on, and simply no one's come up here yet. This is a dangerous place. Kids aren't going to tell their parents, or any adult, that this is where they're going. And other kids aren't going to openly link the disappearances to here because they stupidly want to explore it themselves, and they can't do that when a police investigation is going on there. The fact that authorities haven't come up here yet does nothing to prove that the people you offed were in any way awful. Oh, well, aren't you the smart one? Anything else you'd like to correct me on? Yes, it's Ergo, not Argo. Argo is a movie starring Ben Affleck. Actually, smartass, I think you'll find that Argo stars Francis McDormand. That's Fargo. I know. Yeah, you must know, because I know. And I only exist as an extension of your thoughts. Oh, this again? 
Can we please go back to talking about murder? Really? Yes, really. Because this time, I have proof that I know what I'm doing. You do? I do. Incredibly rich and incredibly beautiful. Okay, they were paid to say that last bit. I've seen her. The girl, Katie Log Lincoln, went missing last night. Along with her, at the time of her disappearance, were friends Carl Manny Time and Jacob Jacob Jacobs. Katie previously made headlines with her well-publicized hit-and-run incident in which 80-year-old Al B. Dan was hit and killed. See, that's the girl idol, that's the chick who hit the old man whose unfortunate name I was hitherto unaware of. Her and her friends were not good people. No, even worse, they were rich people. Rich, important people. This is even more reason not to do what you're doing. You've pissed off some really influential players, Tim, and it's going to bite you in the ass if you don't end this now. Are you serious? I provide proof that I'm making the world a better place and you're still not on my side. Of course I'm not on your side. You're a murderer. Yeah, well, you like Transformers. The first movie's not that bad. Yeah, it is. But regardless of the quality of the first Transformers movie, can we all just agree that it doesn't matter what I'm doing, so long as I'm doing it with joy in my heart? No, we can't agree that. But if I'm doing it with joy in my heart, nope. and by the transitive property I'm stabbing joy into other people's hearts. Nope, that makes no sense. Just stop talking. I don't know how many times I have to say this. You can't kill people on accident. It's sometimes okay, but on purpose, you just can't. You know what? I can do what I want. And you, you can eat an ass. Is that supposed to offend me? Eat a donkey's ass. An ass's ass. Double ass. Ass ass in creed. Seriously, what are you doing? Just take a quarter pounder with ass and eat it. You do realize that it doesn't get any more insulting each time you say ass. Good, because I was really scraping the bottom of the barrel there. But my point still stands. I know what I'm doing, I know who I'm killing, and I can do what I want if I want to. Tim! Look, I, I'm going to spell it out for you. I have a purpose in life. For the longest time, I didn't have anything at all. And now I have this. Just my own little way of making a difference. And I'm not going to let go of that. In other words, I'm going to kill people. On purpose. And there's nothing you can do about it. There was another fly on that. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. It's gonna be just like Deadpool, the Zamboni, he's going super slow, he dies super slow. Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. <laughs> oh my god, that went a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Oh, oh, oh this is getting really bumpy. This must be what sex with Ronda Rousey feels like. Never mind that though. Uh, I feel like I'm being fisted by a garden maintenance vehicle right now. And I just realized I don't know where the brakes are on this thing. Help! I've been watching you. You don't know me, but I know you. I wanna play a game. I don't. Ow. Fine, I'll just kill you normally then. Jeez, my way would have been way more fun though. What a killjoy. I mean, who says no to a game? Besides like Katniss Everdeen. And Donna Quest. And the NFL in 87. My point is, it's like nobody watches the Saw movies anymore. Like, what is the point of what I do if nobody watches the Saw movies anymore? Wait! Do you have to kill me? Can't we just be friends? Really? Well, yeah, sure, if you want. Uh, awesome, I've never actually had a friend before. That's probably because you try to kill people all the time. Yeah, and because I look like a gorilla had sex with the garbage patch kid. Well, regardless of how you look, I'd be happy to be your first friend. Awesome. Uh, what do friends do? So, what movies do you like? Uh, anything without a sequel. Oh my gosh, I know, right? Because you always end up watching the sequel, hoping they'll be good, even though you know they won't be. Exactly, you feel like a sense of duty to the original, so then you watch the next one and it always lets you down. That's exactly how I feel! Oh my god, we totally relate to each other. We totally do. We're such good friends. We totally are! Uh, what kind of music do you like? Justin Bieber. Oh. Okay. But especially when he was an 11 year old that sang like a little girl running out of oxygen. Really? Yes, really. For real, his first album might have been the greatest of all time. And let's be real. Baby. Best. Song. Ever. I knew that was too good to be true. Baby socks, don't lie to yourself. 
Look, I'm so sorry about this. I thought your neck was gonna break, and I was not prepared for this. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Just fix it. Right. Uh, I'll go get the chainsaw. Could you hurry up, please? Uh, you actually can't find it. Oh, here it is. Uh, I am, again, so sorry about that inconvenience, man. It's really no problem. Oh, crap, it's not a battery. Are you serious? Look, ma'am, I'm sorry. It's been a long day and... Oh, your feet are on the ground. How did neither of us notice that? <laughs> Chickens. I didn't even know that until today. You know, I'm not sure what you guys have been eating this whole time, but you smell nasty. Oh. That's where all the bodies have been going. I mean, I thought it was just like a haunted farmhouse, so they kind of just like disappeared and everything, but that, that explains it. That's disgusting. Like, it's impressive, but it's disgusting. Like, that's Hulk Hogan levels of both impressive, but really disgusting. Well, I'm gonna go kill some more people. <laughs> See ya. Oh my god. Uh, Willem Dafoe. Hi, uh, how did you get it? It doesn't matter, I just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, gonna be leaving now. It's common knowledge. Even serial killers are scared of Willem Dafoe. For real though, that was the Green Goblin right there. I thought I was gonna die. As I was saying before you ran away from me, I thought I'd lost this hammer, but then I found it the other day. Oh, God sent. Well, time to die. What the heck? Why is it tilted like that? It's so old. Oh yeah, that sucks. You know, Willem Dafoe made me do that the other day. Well, see ya. Oh my god. It's doing it again. Isn't that so disorientating? You're dead. Right. I forget they're dead sometimes. And let me tell you, that is a really awkward thing to remember mid-conversation. Hey, you shouldn't do that stuff, you know. Why? Because smoking's bad or whatever? You no, know, because the stoners always get killed, dude. Do you even watch movies? I guess you have a point. No, 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 please, please, no, no, no. Hey, please, just please, be thankful you're please, not a slutty no, blonde chick. No, 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 Yesterday, the police department finally decided to take the rumors of a horror movie-esque killer in connection to the many recent disappearances seriously. In fact, they even held a public straw drawing to determine who had to go and hunt down the killer. The short straw was drawn by upstart inspector Gary Orham. Orham has since stated that the drawing was rigged because everyone in the department hates him for his superior detective skills. Police Chief Scott Grossman responded to this in a statement to the press saying, quote, it's true we all hate him, but don't give me that superior skill bullshit, Gary, you dick, end quote. 
The rest of Grossman's statement was a string of expletives directed at, quote, that asswipe or him, end quote, that didn't stop until the police chief's mother came to the scene to calm him down. Personally, I hope that Orham doesn't catch this killer. I'm not a dick, it's just that this ongoing story is the only thing keeping our newspaper from going broke. As I have demonstrated, our actual articles are trash. Well, that's not good. There's some inspector looking for you now? Yeah, I guess. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Are you sure? You look a little down in the dumps. Well, the killing spree didn't go as well as it usually does. I mean, I got a lot of people, it's just... Some of the reactions weren't what I was hoping for. No Wilhelm screen, so that sucked. And there was this one girl who was really nice, but she liked Justin Bieber and that. I don't know, it just wasn't as fulfilling as it usually is. Thank the Lord, I mean... That really sucks, Tim. I'm sorry to hear it. It'll get better, though. This was just an off week, I'm sure. Or maybe it was a sign that this isn't the right path for you. And if this does end up being not my thing, I can always do bank robberies. I don't think that would be my first choice of alternative. Or I could be a professional dodgeball player. I saw a movie about that once. I'm not Tim, are you listening? Professional wrestler. I'd be like Hornswoggle, but even shorter. Or I could be a clown. Tim? You know, I think I have a really good instinct for fitting into a tiny car with about 25 other people. Tim? What? Or you could go back to the orphanage. What? Go back to the orphanage. Get adopted. You're a charming kid. You've still got time. Be part of a family. Build a life that way. That's still a possibility for you. Don't throw it away. I can't do that. Why not? I just can't. That's not an answer, Tim. Why not? Because I'm poisoned. I know. Everyone who gets close to me dies. And don't tell me that's not true because I know it is. That's all I've known my whole life. My parents, my grandparents, Jacks the dog, just a bunch of dumb assholes who chose to love me, and now they're dead because of me. They cared, and everybody else ran the other way, and you know what? Good for everybody else. They saved themselves from me. That's why I'm doing this. I kill everybody anyway, might as well be on purpose, right? Tim, none of those deaths were because of you. Then why am I still alive? Why does everybody die? Except for me. Say something funny. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Say something funny. Tim, you have to- Say something funny. Please. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know why. How should I know, asshole? I'm the one who asked you. See a car from there. I can't, but the script, the script said there was, was one. Yeah. yeah. All right, boys, you ready? Add the yeah. affirmation. Do any of you guys realize how badly this could go? What's the matter, Ashley? I thought you didn't believe in the killer. She's just scared that if we all die, she won't get any dick tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Super funny, Connor. <laughs> yeah, I know. Guys, seriously, this is a bad idea. Hey, Ashley, shut the hell up. Yeah, be a good girl, okay? All right, boys, let's do this. All right. Yo, who do you think this guy is? I don't know, he's probably some homeless dude or some shit. Either way, we've got this, so he's fucking screwed. Yeah, let me go back and pass Ashley around. Yeah, Alexa treatment, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus, Jack, hurry the fuck up. Yeah, try and leave a little bit of Ashley for us, okay? <laughs> don't worry, there's plenty of that ass to go around. <laughs> Alright, 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 alright. All right. We're getting to plan if we're gonna take this son of a bitch down before the cops do it. Alright, let's split up. You take the woods, you take the farmhouse, I'll take the main house. If either of you see him, you either kill him or you call me, okay? Alright. Are you sure we should split up? That's usually how people die in the movies. Yeah, in the movies, but this is real life, dumbass. Alright, alright, fine. Alright, let's go kill this son of a bitch. So excited, I got my knife, my hair looks fine, and the first victim's about to walk through that door any second. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
bitches. I just want you to know, this would have been a lot less painful if you would have just walked through the goddamn door! He was on his phone. The manners on kids these days, it's just so disrespectful. What, he did have some good games on there. And find him in the woods, he looking here? Jack? Oh, look at him, dude, he just... He's totally alive, right? I mean, he's just casually leaning against the bookshelf. I mean, there's nothing wrong with him. Oh, no, no, he's totally dead. Look at him. <laughs> Horror tropes. I drew a dick on his face. Ah! Ashley, start the car! Winding down. Brady flew 50. <laughs> Bitch. Touchdown! Brady does it again. Most of the country hates him, but damned if New England does. Well, looks like your gun just. Ah. Oh, son of a bitch. Ah! Wait a minute, I know you. Shut up! How's Alexa? What? How do you know about that? You bragged too loud. See, I don't, that's both of the people I mentioned in my expositional rant. You can't tell me that I don't have a talent for killing the right people. Be that as it, can you stop doing that? Thank you. Be that as it may, there is still the moral issue of- Come on, Lenny, we've done this scene like, what, three times already? You're boring the audience. The last time, Tim, I am a voice in your head. I am not real, so if anyone is boring anyone here, it is you. How can you keep saying you're not real? I mean, you wouldn't even be able to have that thought if you weren't real. I'm not having that thought. You're having that thought. Look, you just think I'm real because you've been alone for so much of your life. Also, you're kinda batshit crazy. Crazy, you really are a possessed idol sent from the underworld to aid me on my quest for vengeance. I mean justice. I don't think I could say case in point enough times to capture the essence of what you just said. Oh yeah? Well, I don't even know what most of the words in that sentence meant. 
Yes, you do, because I said it and I only exist in your... You know what? Forget it. Forget what? Oh wow, you did. Oh shit, I just remembered. Good, because as impressive as that was... Seat. What? Those guys, they had a driver with them. They got them here, I didn't kill the driver. Are you serious? Deadly serious. Get it? Cause... Cause deadly... Cause I kill people... Cause... You get it? No, I get it. I despise you for it, but I get it. Jesus, Tim, if the driver goes to the police, we are screwed. They'll know for sure you're up here, and they might even send SWAT or something. I know, this puts me in a very discomfortable position. You think? And if they... Wait, discomfortable? Yeah. That's not a word. But it should be, though. I mean, discomfort is a word, but when you're in a state of discomfort, you're uncomfortable? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, and how about disillusion? That's a word, but when you're the opposite of disillusion, you aren't illusioned. So how is that... Damn it, you've got me doing it back to the driver. Right. Uh, yeah, if they do go to the police, we're in serious trouble, but I don't think they will. They were in with some pretty bad people, and they probably have just as much to lose by involving the police as we do. You better hope so. Not even you are going to stand a chance against a SWAT team. In fact, I'm not even really sure how you made it this long against anyone. What? You're a little dude with a knife. That's it. Oh, come on, I'm built like Gollum, and he's a killing machine. Plus, ever seen a Chucky movie? Whatever creepy-ass movie character you compare yourself to, I just hope you're prepared. Oh, I was born prepared. Really? Well, actually, I was born being pushed down a fleshy tube into an incredibly bright room, which would be pretty hard to prepare for. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be pretty hard to prepare for that. Or all the shit that came after. Yeah. But I'm here now. In a... reasonably lit... Fleshy tube free room. And I am ready for whatever comes next. Like, like next after that. Like the next, next. I'm ready. <laughs> it's funny because Joey likes sex. The others still keep him around though. I guess that's because they're such good friends. Oh my gosh! That's why the show's called that! I meant stop in a slow, safe fashion that would allow me to avoid injury and take back the shit you stole from me. I'm afraid I don't take orders from you, Squirt. Also, uh, you're under arrest for murder or serial killing or whatever the hell I'm investigating up here. Shouldn't you, like, cuff me or something? Cuff you? You're two feet tall. What can you do? Also, I've got a gun, and so, uh, nobody said I gotta bring you in there alive. So. Did they let you bring cuffs? No, they stole mine and, and uh, hid the spares. Wow, they really don't like you. Excuse me? Yeah, I think that might have been a typo. I uh, just... Yeah. Wow, they really don't like you. Uh, they're jealous of me. They don't like the idea that I'm a better young and, and skinny yet abrasively determined and driven police detective than they will ever be. That was a very specific group of people of which you claim to be the best. Shut up! Why? Did I mention my gun? Why, yes you did. What about- oh! 
Okay, well, I'll, I'll shut up, but uh, first I gotta ask you a question. Fine. What is it? Why are you doing this, man? Why is a self-absorbed, I mean, self-respecting, best of the best police detective working on a case like this? Is it because the others thought you were gonna die trying to catch me? Is that fair? You know what, why not, why not let me go and let one of them do it? Why can't they die for this cause? Why do you have to? Can you tell me that? That was way more than one question. Okay, yeah, but I was trying to use pathos, ethos, and logos, so most of them don't count. Fine, dopey. You wanna know why? I'll tell you why. I'm bringing you in because against all oh, odds- Oh, I dopey. Like the stupid dwarf. That's a good one, I get it. Continue. They set me up to fail, so when I succeed, I get to rub it in their faces. How do you know you're gonna succeed? What the hell was that? I have no idea. Huh. As I was saying, they all want me to die working this case. <laughs> That's how much of a cocky asshole I am. <laughs> Did you just call yourself a cocky asshole? Yeah, it's French for conquering hero. We don't do that. It doesn't matter. As I was saying, when I succeed against all odds, I'll be worshipped, and I'll prove all those dickweeds wrong. All I have to do is bring you in and bibimbap, God's that is. Yeah, I don't think that's the correct use of bibimbap. What? I think you meant bing bang boom. Bibimbap is a food. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. You're about 10 years old, what do you know? Oh, uh, well, I know that ubiquitous means that something is everywhere. It was rhetorical. I now know that cohesion is not an ethnicity. I don't need a list of the things you know. Oh, don't worry, it's not that long. Oh, I know that you're about to go off the road. Oh, shit! Inspector, over here, Inspector. Where the hell are you? Good question, Inspector. Uh, who knows? Really? Stop playing games. You are, and I'm ordering you to stop. I'm afraid I don't take orders from you, squirt. Also, I'm afraid you forgot to delete your old text messages. What, what are you? What? See, I went through your phone when you were unconscious, and uh, well, look at this. April twelfth. 10 a.m. You do realize your daughter committed vehicular homicide. I'm gonna need more incentive to testify on her behalf. April 12th, 2 a.m. 12 mil or no deal, do you want her to walk or not? I don't know what's more shocking, Inspector. Your lack of fun emojis? The contrived way that this plot point got brought up or the horror of what you did? What I did? I, I didn't do anything! Completely contrived. The inspector assigned to the case unexpectedly testified in a manner indicative of Katie's innocence. This testimony ended up being one of the deciding factors in the eventual verdict for the legal sentence. I knew I'd seen that name before, Inspector Orr, and I thought you would be some sort of advocate for gender equality. But I was wrong. What are you. Oh. <laughs> Inspect her or him? That was stupid! Says the guy who just got busted for letting a murderer walk. <laughs> I don't get it! I thought you were an idiot! <laughs> but now! <laughs> oh crap, I forgot to move out of your line of sight that time. Your stupid little game's over now, Squirt. And since you know as much as you do, I'm gonna have to kill you. Hey, but at least the script got a cheap comedic moment, huh? Wait, you can break the fourth wall too? What? Sand! Ah. Oh shit! No, oh. oh, not again! Oh. Where are you? Show yourself! Show myself? Now that would be a decent exposure, Inspector. And what do you take me for? Some kind of criminal? <laughs> well, that went a lot better than I expected. How badly did you expect it to go? I don't. And the audience and I almost forgot about you. Okay, stop doing that. Doing what? Like I said, I think this went really well. I mean, I didn't die, I didn't get arrested, and I killed the guy that was coming after me. Now all I have to do is get the inspector back to the chickens so they can eat him and he'll be gone forever. And since nobody liked him, nobody's gonna miss him. I mean, man, a lazy screenwriter couldn't have done it better. And believe me, I tried. Didn't I just tell you to stop doing that? Beep him bop, motherfucker.
Oh. Oh, those were the weak last words. I suppose, like, whatever it is, like, you can't win Darth if you strike me down, I'll become more powerful than you could ever imagine is, like, copyright or something. And I suppose he's not really dead when he says that. I mean, unless, like, he's a force ghost after that. So, like, are you dead if you're a force ghost? Kevin, you just got shot. Are you not concerned about that? That's nah, fine. As long as I die with better last words than that, I'll go out a winner. You can't be serious. Of course I'm serious. And don't call me Shirley. I didn't. I didn't even say Shirley. Ah, oh, damn it! I've waited my whole life to make that reference. It sucks even more given the circumstances. Tim, we've gotta do something. Don't worry, Idol. You'll just have to go on without me. I can't. Yes, you can. Look, I know better than anybody it's hard to move on, but you'll find a way. No, I literally can't. I only exist inside your head. How many times do I have to tell you this? I've come to terms with dying. Plus, this is a great opportunity to reenact Leonardo DiCaprio's death scene in the Titanic. That's your first priority right now? You're right. Do you think we should maybe do the Romeo and Juliet one first? What is wrong with you? I like DiCaprio, okay? Alright. Titanic. You be Rose. I don't want to be Rose. I'm dying, idol. You be Rose. Fine. I'll never let go. Except now. I'm letting go now. But wait, isn't this board big enough to fit both of us? Yes, but if we both get on, it'll sink, and we'll both die. Well said, Rose. Plot hole filled. Take a physics class. Sinking into the sea. Well, that was... Wait, how are you not dead yet? I don't know. You know, I thought I was dying, but... It might just be a flesh wound. Hey, Flesh Wound, you, you remember Monty Python? You have to stop referencing other movies, especially ones the audience would rather be watching. Ah, damn it, you got me doing it. Doing what? I hate you. Kind of like the audience hates the way this scene's dragging? See, that, what you just did, you just broke the fork. Yeah, I think it is just a Flesh Wound. You don't think I'm fine, and actually, oh, no, 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 I'm definitely bleeding out. Oh, yep, definitely bleeding out. Shit. That escalated quickly. I actually thought he was gonna pull through there for a second. Wait, if he's dead and I'm still talking, I am real. Huh. Am I dead? Am I in heaven? God, is that you? Uh, no. Now you're just some random white guy. I thought you were God. You're probably like the ghost of like a insurance agent or something. Oh, no, you're Hitler. Oh, I'm definitely in hell. That was super weird. Wait, was that a McDonald's? I swear there was a McDonald's in hell. Who are you guys?